Welcome back, guys. I'm a little late for the update on the test this month, but I filmed this at the end of the first week of February 22, and I usually do these on the first of the month, but I ran out of daylight to film on that day, and then, of course, this is what happened right after, as you can see right now. I've had a little bit of wet snow, which came down when the air temperature was slightly above freezing, and then, of course, it froze and became ice for a few days. However, you can see our, that Lulu, our nine-month-old Bernadoodle, is loving it. As usual, we will foam these two windscreens down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse them, foam them again, wash them, and then of course, rinse them off so we can inspect the hydrophobic properties of everything. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are getting on. All right, NGNT looks like it's doing all right. IGL window and DPC had failed less than 30 days. Drexler's was somewhere around the 60 to 90 day mark is where it failed. CarPro Flyby 30, that's probably around the 60 to 90 day also. G Technic, G1, G2, looks like it's doing fine. Nano Cotex, both of those look like okay, but they're a little weak, not to point where we would call it weak. Glass Parency looks great, Glosset looks great. System X also, and Shatter X looks good. Ceramic Pro had failed around the 30 day mark. Again, we'll just repeat, go back the bottom row here. Glass Parency, you can see very hydrophobic, looks great. Nano Cotex K2, not quite as hydrophobic as glass parency, but still looks all right. CarPro Flyby 30, we said 60 to 90 days is the failure point on that. Carbon Collective looks all right, and Drexler's we called failed around the 30 to 60, or I'm sorry, around the 60 to 90 day mark as well. jump on over to the other windshield here never wet and griots griots looks like it's pretty weak mcguire's gian let's see how these are doing here yeah gian and mcguire's both look like they're doing pretty well Definitely looking good compared to Griot's there. I think we'll, we'll mark Griot's weak at this point. Pearl Nano looks good, and Rain-X we're going to call weak as well. Here we are, about 120 days. Rainex is pretty close to being call and failed. It means it's probably going to be there next month, but we'll we'll mark it weak for now. Aquapel, again, that's what we use in our shop. Very difficult to install, but it has been one of the products we've seen that has lasted. Nexet from Germany looks like it's also doing quite well. Adams glass sealant. Liquid glass guard looks all right. Armorall looks like it's doing all right, but Adam's Glass Boost, we had uh, called that failed early on. I believe it was one of the first products to fail. Adam's two-part, looks like it's hanging in there too. So there's your update, guys. Sorry this one's kind of rushed. I just, I needed to get this filmed and up for you guys. I will do a more in-depth look at everything next month, if not at the six-month mark. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.